Good one for the morning. Three UZ and one UZ VDTI. Fuel pressure. Fuel pressure gauge is attached. The recommended reading is between 44 and 50 PSI. You don't have that much, you don't have enough. So it is a little bit more than three bar. So those guys fighting three bar for a three UZ are incorrect. It is 44 to 50 PSI. If you need to know more, or you want to ask some questions, watch the rest of the video first, because it might be answered in there. Okay, you guys. Galvin, from the catching company in New Zealand. Behind me is an LS430. And this information, it's relevant to all cars, because all cars have fuel pressure of some sort. Um, I've just given away what I'm testing, eh? I'm testing fuel pressure. Anyway, uh, but it's particularly relevant on the returnless systems of the LS 400s and the 430s. And so of the 400s, it would be the VVTi model. So I get in trouble. I see them from 97 onwards. I see VVTi, uh, one UZs. The US are going to go. There's no 97 LS 400s with VVTis. Uh, this isn't this isn't the USA. So USA would be a 98 model year. And we actually saw the uh, 1UZ uh, VVTi um, well up into the 2000s because we also saw them in crowns which you American guys would think like as a GS 400s and then we saw the 430s running at the same time anyway on to what we're doing LS 430 and I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker uh, so Toyota actually have an adapter Toyota have a factory adapter, they whip out the, the dampener, which is back there, there's one dampener, yep. and then there's one dampener on this side, right under here, under there there's a dampener, can we get in there? Oh, I can't really, it's, it's under there, there's the dampener, and there's no return line, okay, so the fuel tank, way back there is where the fuel pressure regulator is. My own car, I have a fuel filter to do, we're going to talk about more, so if, to get all the information you're going to have to watch a couple of videos. I'm trying to make this a little bit shorter. Uh, I've got other shit to do today, and this opportunity came about. Right, so I'm getting in here and I'm unscrewing this fuel fitting at the end of the fuel rail. Fuel is running out. There is a washer on there. I'm going to grab that washer and I'll put that aside. I'm going to take my new fitting. Now I bought a fuel pressure kit and it comes with this adapter here but it didn't have come with anything specifically for the 430. And then I'm going to screw this in. Not news I wanted to hear. My fingers are caught. It's awkward. I don't want to drop the washer. And clearly I'm better at unscrewing than screwing. Oh, I think I got the right angle now. And in we go. There's all this other stuff in the way. Next question, can I get that done up? Can I fit my long reach socket over? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Wait there. Extension. Into here. In through the wiring. Into the socket. We're on a winner. Now, this car came to me for some testing. Oh, that's bad. It's on the underbelly cover. Gravity is still working though, which is kind of positive. Right, we've now got the little fitting on. We need to get the gauge. If 
fuel pressure gauge. Look at this. That's awesome. All right. I can show you the set that I bought. I purchased. And we're going to put the wiring out of the way. We're going to slip this in here. We're going to slip it in there like that. Right, let's fire this thing up and make it go. Uh, I have had some issues with some leakage over there. Um, first time I've used this particular gauge and the adapter quick connect, connect fitting was crap. Okay, so what is the fuel pressure spec? It is 44 to 50. We're using the outside scale, which is in the PSI. So that's 44 to 50 PSI. Well, it's, a lot of guys will state that it's three bar. It's three bar is a little bit too low. And if if I had one of these, either a VVTI or a three UZ, one UZ VVTI or three UZ, with only three bar, then I wouldn't be investigating what's going on. Forty. 42, 44, just on 46 PSI. So that is quite adequate fuel pressure for this engine and it's within spec. So normally when you turn it off, it should hold, I think it's about 20, 23 PSI. And that's the test for injectors, fuel pumps, that sort of stuff, feeding back. Really quick. Now, I did do a video on the triggering of the fuel pump, whether it's um, twin relays, which I've covered. And pretty soon I will do the fuel pump ECU, the fuel pump controller that some of these models and cars have. Uh, in this particular case, it's like the GS430 2000, 2000, 2003. This one runs the twin relays, so we've got, it's not in that one, it's in this one. The main EFI relay feeds the circuit opening relay and the fuel pump relay is the bypass for the resistor. And the tank is the fuel pump on a static fuel pressure. Unlike the earlier ones that had a fuel pressure regulator on the engine, the VVTi and the 3Z run the like a fuel pressure regulator unit in the tank, and it isn't regulated by uh, vacuum or the engine vacuum. So this means same pressure all the time. So if you're driving it and your pressure drops off, to your fuel pressure drops off, and it shows the pump isn't keeping up or the filter's blocked. There is some ways of checking the resistance of the fuel pump. And I'm actually just going to have a play with that right now. I'm also very quickly going to show you the difference if we bypass the resistor to the fuel pressure. Right, I'm at the fuel pump resistor here. Uh, I've got the fuel pump relay and the circuit opening relay removed, and you'll know why I've done that. And I'm checking the resistance of my fuel pump by the spec it's a little bit high but I'm completely happy with that here guys I've got the resistor plug back in I whip the fuel pump relay out not the circuit opening the fuel pump we're going to bypass the resistor and we'll just see if there's a little bit of difference in the fuel pressure not a whole lot You notice I got rid of the flicking. I did have to modify this fitting. It's not as awesome as I thought this fuel pressure gauge, but it's getting better now I've been at it. So we go from about 45 to around about 48 PSI. So about three PSI gain. I'm due to do the fuel filter, as I said, on my own car 
and we'll do some more testing on that vehicle of the fuel pressure before and after a fuel filter change. I'll also recheck some resistances. This one is outside of the recommended spec, but it's working adequately. Um, and I'm, I'm not actually concerned about the fuel system on this car. This is, this is the fuel pressure testing set that I purchased. There's a business or a website here called Trade Me. Multiple sellers sell stuff here in New Zealand. And it seemed to be pretty good value. Uh, There's about 150 New Zealand dollars for this kit. Comes with a little manual. Now, I wasn't expecting it to have the adapters for the Toyota. So I was expecting to make something. My intention was to take the little bung blanket out of the front of the fuel roll and to tap something into it, which is what I did. There was a six by one, so I thought that was awesome. And it had, had an O-ring on it and it was leaking, leaking everywhere. So I gave it a little bit of a tighten up and this is what happened. So I will be going and modifying this further and I'll be taking it out to a uh, M8 fitting, which there is one in the kit. Uh, and the reason, the reason it was leaking was not actually because of that fitting that I'd made, it was because of this piece in here. So I'm going to screw apart. So there is this, this valve assembly. And it's designed to come up, push on this one-way valve, very similar to a tyre valve, and to allow the fuel to flow. And then this piece here, it's designed to flick into here, tighten up, and press into the seal that was in there. And unfortunately the penetration of this didn't go into the seal, so it was actually this fitting that was loose, and it was, it was literally flopping around, and not sealing. I've actually gone and I've modified this and I've drilled it down so that seal sits down further, and that has removed the leaks from this area and I've thrown the valve away because that was giving me grief. Not ideal, uh, but it turns out it's actually a pretty cheap, crappy kit. I'm still going to be able to use it. I'll modify this. I'll spin this down and re-tap that. I'll, I'll re-drill that out to the next size, so that's not really a big issue, and I can make things work. The gauge is giving readings as I would expect, so that's probably okay. The rest of it is actually quite easy to use. Um, it's just disappointing that the main function of the quick connector and the drop or the dry brake um, isn't working. So guys, I hope that's been helpful. Just explaining a little bit about testing and checking the fuel pressure on the LS 430s. And of course it relates to the LS 400s with the VVT engines as well and your GS 430s and your Crown Majestas and all that with the similar engines. So we'll talk to you again soon. Catch you later.